Today, I'm going to try and name every European country by a postage stamp. Kia ora all, welcome to Mr Quiz, the channel where we play quizzes. Today we are doing a slideshow quiz. Uh, thank you very much to G Natural for making this. Uh, we're going to try and name every European country by a postage stamp. Uh, this could be easy, it could be hard, we'll see how it goes. Um, we've got 10 minutes on the clock. Um, let's just jump in and see how we go. I will try and keep track in my head of what countries we've used already. Um, because hopefully it's not going to be super difficult. Um, but they're, well, we'll see how we get on. The quiz link is in the description. Let me know how you go. Let me know if there's any fun facts I miss as I skip through these as well. Okay, so first of all, we have uh, Helvetia. So that should be Switzerland. Cool, then we've got Esti. So this should be Estonia. Um, and then this is Princess Grace. So this should be Monaco. Excellent. Uh, there's some hints we can use, the people, the language, the currencies even. Um, this is, I think, well, it's Mother Teresa, obviously. I think this is Albania, even though she was born uh, elsewhere. Uh, this is Karl Kacek. Um, I'm going to say this is a Dalmatian, so maybe Croatia? No. Um, oh, it's got um, uh, Karuna here, right? So that's... Czechia? Yeah, perfect. Although I like my first instincts more. And this is Magyar, so this is Hungary. Uh, and this is a uh, map of Kosovo. Okay, and this is the flag of Serbia. So yeah, not the, not the hardest quiz so far. Um, this is the old flag of Belarus, um, and a map of Belarus as well. And this is a map of Bosnia and Herzegovina. Okay, this is our first difficult one. We have um, Latin script here. We've got uh, Cyrillic here. Um, and then a parrot of some kind. Is this Latin or is that Cyrillic there? It's a bit hard to tell with the italicization. I think it's Latin. So given the mixing, Bulgaria, we already had Serbia. Let's come back to this one. Uh, this is uh, Ceausescu from Romania. Um, and this is, I mean, just, this is cool. I mean, it's Italian food, right? Like cheese, spaghetti, olive oil. Uh, it says Roma down here as well. I thought maybe there was a chance it could be San Marino, uh, but too many clues saying Italy. Uh, this is uh, Serna Gorda, uh, and this is Montenegro, the coat of arms. Montenegro, yep, perfect. Uh, this is Aristophanes, or Aristotle is more likely, I think, so should be Greece. And then, oh gosh, uh, this will be Slovenia, right? Because we've got um, Piran and Koper places in Slovenia, and this is Yugoslavia, so that makes sense. It's from early in the 20th century. Um, this says 10 francs, um, but this is like German here. Is this going to be like Luxembourg? No. I mean, it's not France, right? And it's not Germany. Belgium? Ooh. Okay, this is a bit of a tough one. Um, it's not... Unless this FR doesn't stand for francs, it stands for something else. <coughs> okay, uh, let's move on. Um, this is Schloss, uh, Sch this is Schloss Schönburn. Uh, so this is in Austria, just outside of Vienna. And this is probably Spain. I mean, it does say Espanol on it, so I hope so. Unless it's Andorra. Okay, so it must be Catalan. Uh, this will be Ireland, nice convenient map there, and this is Grand Duch, so this will be a Grand Duchy of presumably Luxembourg. Okay, good. Uh, is that a, a volcano? Okay, perfect, yeah. Uh, it does look like an Icelandic landscape. Uh, Sibelius, so this should be Finland. Uh, and then we've got a... Oh yeah, this is uh, San Marinese, so this will be San Marino. Um, that makes a lot of sense. 
Cool. Uh, Riga, so Latvia. Uh, Tintin in America. Wow, I guess this is going to be Belgium because uh, Herge was Belgian. And this is Cyrillic. Who's that? Um, someone from 1861 to 1948. Russia. Bulgaria. Okay, Bulgaria. Perfect. Uh, this is Slo. Slovakia? Yeah, I always get confused because it says Slovensko, but um, it's actually Slovakia. And this is Czechia because this is uh, Republika Hrvatska. Not Czechia, sorry, Croatia. Oh. Embarrassing. Um, I presume this is Cyprus. It's got Greek uh, up here and it looks like a rudimentary map of Cyprus. This is also the Greek for Cyprus and um, the Turkish, I believe. So yeah, that makes sense. Uh, this is presumably Denmark. The Little Mermaid statue. And this will be presumably Spain. That's uh, Guernica by Picasso. Uh, this is, well it says Chisinau. And it's the um, Moldovan coat of arms. So we can say Moldova. And then this is a windmill. So let's go Netherlands for this one. And this it says uh, Lisboa Torre de Belém. So this is uh, Belém Tower in Lisbon. Uh, so this will be Portugal. Brilliant. Uh, Beethoven House in Bonn. Uh, that should be Germany. Wonderful. And this Luftpost Norge. Uh, so this is uh, Airpost Norway, I guess. Wonderful. Uh, this is Russia. This is uh, how you write Russian in Kyrillic, I guess. Russian colours, St. Basil's Cathedral. So yeah, I'm feeling pretty good. It's been a nice, nice relaxing quiz. Um, this will be the UK, I guess. Astrid Lindgren, uh, she wrote Heidi, right? And that's Swedish. Uh, then we have another one, uh, which should be Ukraine. I believe this is the Ukrainian coat of arms. So that should be Ukraine there. Um, this one, I guess, is Turkish. Because um, these uh, little eyes are only used in Turkish. Turkey, plus we've got the Lira there as well. Easy. I love this quiz. Very good. Just enough clues. I hope there's ones for other continents as well. Uh, this will be the Vatican. City. No, hold on. Oh, okay, yeah. I mean, I assumed it was the Vatican City, but um, Closer Inspection says this is going to be Tens Lotti, and that's Pope John Paul II, who was Polish. So it was a trick question. <laughs> this one, though, will be the Vatican City. That's St. Peter's Basilica. Um, this is an old one. Um, is this going to be France? Uh, one centime uh, percevoir. It is French, right? Yep, perfect. Malta, I'm guessing this is an um, ancient classical map of Malta and Gozo. So good, three to go and two we need to come back to. This is, Lich Ooh, this is Lithuania, although it is fooling me because it's got the colours of, Lithu uh, of Liechtenstein. And actually, come to think of it, if we had Liechtenstein, I don't think we have. So yeah, this makes sense. The fact that it's German and it uses francs, which is Swiss francs, will be Liechtenstein, and then we just need to work out which uh, countries we have which speak uh, Kyrillic or use Kyrillic language we haven't used yet. Let's try... I don't think we've had anyone from Macedonia, have we? No, we haven't. Okay, perfect. That was a lot of fun. Thank you so much for making this quiz. We'll just quickly check the stats as always. Uh, Greece was the most uh, guessed one, and Finland, which was uh, Sibelius, um, a Finnish composer... The least guessed, along with Iceland, San Marino, Turkey. But all of them pretty high get rates. The average score <coughs> the average score being 79, which is pretty pretty excellent. That was a lot of fun. Thank you so much for making that quiz. Uh, I wonder if there's others in the series. Okay, good news. So yeah, this user has made um, other continents postage stamps as well. So we can uh, we can have a go of those. That should be a, should be a lot of fun. And maybe a little bit more challenging than the European one. Let me know how you get on. Let me know any fun facts about these postcards. Um, there's a link to my Patreon and buy me a coffee in the description below if you wanted to support the channel. That would be amazing. Until next time, kakitayano. Bye.